Killer Killer Podcast KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app 24-7 mini documentaries Podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams Top 5, subscription packages Plus products for all your podcasts And street culture sports Download it from the app store for free today Killer Keller podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast. Live and direct. Ah, is LinkedIn Academy North London? Come on now. Come on. Uh, ain't too far away from the action. We're definitely backstage <laughs> with the man at the moment, Grime. Legacy holder. Oh, wow. There you go. There you go. Not uh, that puts inside the place, my oh, brother. God, man, How are you? Been a minute. Let's get trying, that up. We've been trying to get here for a moment, innit? It's been taking a while. But we've done it. But we're here, bro. We're, we're, we're here. Big shout out to GraffitiKings.co.uk. Hold tight, everyone's got a television app. As I was saying, we are inside right now. We've got a whole bunch of cameras and everything. Yeah, cameras on cameras right now. We're shooting a video for um, Work All Day, which has just been um, re released. Uh, with the like in sync with the Apple advert and stuff, so yo in sync with the Apple advert. That was a little too casual, just right yeah, uh, yeah. I did. I was trying not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smashed it. Come on, that's a no, big, it's, it's a big one. Still big up, suck like my brother. You mm. get me? So yeah, th- that was a nice, nice thing to come back and uh, touch base. So we got that iPhone. Was it 13? Yeah. yeah, iPhone 13 advert. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Okay. Um, your legacy, your lineage goes way back, bro, and we are going to get into this right now. But you've been dropping like a whole bunch of tunes like throughout lockdown. It's almost like, hey, have this one. Hey, yeah. have that one. Well, Dumping on them, literally. I, I dropped the album in the lockdown unintentionally. That I done my first single on the in the week lockdown happened, literally. That I dropped it, and then two days later, you weren't allowed to go nowhere. So it was... And mm, hard. Yeah, very hard. And then I was yeah. like, I didn't want to drop the album. Meetings all the, all the time with my yeah. management about. Cause I I didn't want to I didn't want to put no music out because you know, I thought it'd be a waste. Yeah. And then people saying, oh no, people gonna need music. It's gonna help us through. And then oh, I still weren't sure, but we gained momentum, so it's hard to stop. So we, we I'm glad we saw it through anyway. Yeah. To be honest, that. Like, Obviously, you wouldn't want to drop it in a pandemic if you had <laughs> you <had> the choice. <laughs> yeah, if you fully had the choice. Yeah. But um, I felt like if we just press pause, the pandemic was pretty much for two years. So mm. how long, how are you going to hold music for two years and then expect to drop that and still be fresh and feel so? Mm. It was a tough one, but I, I'm happy we did it and it, I feel like it's worked out. Eventually, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's mad, isn't it? Like back in the day, they used to have like albums that it work two years on and then drop it and then do a tour and then two years later another. That's yeah. impossible to think, even because now I think we're we're too in touch. We've seen people right now through social media and stuff. So I yeah, think you could do music like that before. Go away, do your two year album work. People will be happy that you're doing your album. Mm. And now, if you try to tell someone, right, I'm going away for two years, I'll be back. Social media, come back to social media in two years. They sh- don't go. No one knows who you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I don't fly no more, does yeah, it? Yeah, so it's it's um it's a mad situation music's in, like there's actually too much music, I think. But yeah. it's it's it is what it is, unfortunately, right like, now. I've got a theory that perhaps there's as much music in the world for people the whole of people's lives that they don't have to look at and listen to any other thing. There's so much music. Well, uh, it's there's so much music I want to listen to and, and haven't mm. through time or I managed to listen to one thing and then you look at the list, there's still shit mm. loads left. It's like, yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot of music, bro. So Sometimes you even think you've listened to it even though you've only heard 30 seconds of it on a, on a story. Yeah, I think, exactly. And I think <laughs> you absorb too much music to even soak in, like to, for it to soak in. You're just... And so much is chucked at you. Yeah. You you look at it, you you listen to it for the minute or a bit, whatever the clip is. Yeah. And you feel like you've listened to it and you and you move on, but you haven't actually listened listened to it. Yeah. Do you know? And then and that's happening all day, every day, every flick. It's, it's yeah, it's mad. It's, it's mad. It's a flick culture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Flick bro. culture. Well, let's take it back. Where did it begin? 
with the mighty prince. Basically, I mean, for those that, I mean, obviously we know the story, but but for, for Wait, the untold, my dad, tell us. My dad, um, my dad's my start, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's... He's in sound system, Yeah, yeah, King Original is his sound system, and... That's where I learned the team, brother. I went to the studio. He took me to my first studio session, which was his. And I was there. You know, it's cool for the first hour, and then you're there, like, Dad, why are you listening to the same song yeah. for so long? Hurry up, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that question is 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 so funny, because to like grow up and have kids, and then they ask you the same thing. Why are you listening to the same song? Because as a kid, you don't understand it's being made. So, like, a minute ago, it, this was just a kick drum, and now mm. there's a guy in the booth on the guitar and things. So, yeah, like, you, you, as you grow up, you learn the magic of making music. And how long yeah. it takes, isn't it? Yeah, 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 like, a very long process. So then, after a while, I stopped wanting to go to the studio with my dad because I, I clocked how long, he, <laughs> how long he stays there, and I was like, nah, yeah. man, I'm all right. But I ended up there anyway. Mm. Yeah, you ended up <laughs> born into the game pretty Yeah, much. pretty much, yeah, definitely. And reggae yeah. was the thing, because uh, General 45, big shout out General 45. Yeah, come on, man. Um, no, and uh, I heard that bar on the, that track you done with him on yeah. the album, it's cold. And that just made um, Mr. Williams, we've got a few things in Mr. Williams, man. He's, he's um, someone I look up to still in the music. He's solid, legend. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute he's a proper legend, legend bro. Yeah. And, um, Homes, yo, fuck him, why don't you put a verse on it? And it when, you, when you get the calls, you put a verse on it. You don't, you don't say no, you know what I mean? Facts. Yeah, yeah, so, and it's what I grew up on. Mm. That, the whole, that whole vibe was, was, was like, it was a joy. It was another something. thing, yeah, yeah, you just yeah. knew it. To do something out of the box, so. And for me, it's not actually that far out of the box, because mm. that is my box, really. So, yeah, no, nah, it, it, it's, um, a sick track and the video's mad as well. It's quite a little, little um, cartoon in beach team. Yeah, it's hard. I need man. to check that out. Yeah, check it out. No, it's, it's cold still. It's very cold. It's, it's like a Studio One kind of style of cartoon, the drawing. Like, yeah, it's very oh, cool. that's. It's, it's, it's cold. It's cold still. Yeah, he's got his lane down perfect. Proper, proper, man. Proper. Yeah. Proper legend, bro. So, yeah, honored to work with a man of his stature on his side of the fence at yeah. any time. Because I know. If I shout him, he will slap a verse in my field, any drop of a hat, so mm. it's, it's nothing, you know what I mean? But here's the thing with new generals, even the nasty stuff, like, I don't know, you've always been like really, in a, you've been really good at working with soundtracks and rhythms that aren't normally in his line world. Yeah, I think that's from the influence from, from the reggae, to be honest, and just my upbringing. Everything has a vibe. If you meet it, you can work somewhere. Mm. Do, do, do you know what I mean? So I think that's um, reggae bashment's attitude to a lot of stuff. They can remix, take from, and put into. So I'm pretty adaptable with whatever is thrown at me or whatever I have. I'll just I'll make something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just get yeah, it done. Yeah, just get it it's done, a vibe, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, vibe. Vibe. But that's. I'm not the most technical. But my vibe is... It's your voice, yeah, bro. It's, it's your the, voice. It's the vibe for me. Like, uh, and if the vibe ain't right, mm. I, 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 I can't do it. Do you know what I mean? Some man is just technical in, nine, in, in, a, in another way. Mm. Uh, my thing's vibe, like, I, I believe. But then your voice kicks in, see, and then yeah, that's yeah. just a, does a whole different thing. Get some Shelly on, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's Shelly. <laughs> Uh, let's let's get into the grime thing. So obviously, you know, grime came along. How old were you at that time? Without giving away too much. Grime, when grime fully came along, I was I was in my early twenties. When grime fully black. But there's many forms of grime. It's hard for me to say when it fully because mm. I was in it. Yeah. Just in it. And so because there's the sublows and the dubstep, then yeah, it kind of got into that. Yeah. It, for me, like the first forms of grime and stuff were things like anything with a bass line in that garage yeah. time. And that never had a, a, a main vocal lead in and you could actually get MC on it. Mm. I think even So Solid, oh no, they're that instrumental to that. I think So Solid, not even I think, they have got a lot to answer for yeah. in the beginning because they were in that garage 
time. Everyone around them is garage and big vocals and yeah. shit. And they came with bars and beats. Night five era. Like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Swiss is a, is a bad boy bad builder. Bad boy. So, Dilemma is a problem beat. So, it's like, <laughs> that man have got a lot to answer for in, in the building of the sound of Grime. Do you know what I mean? Because th they were against the rules of what they were doing in terms of big vocals and drapes and shit. They came with beats and bass, what we was on. So mm -hmm. I, I think it was just out of necessity. Grime was just... Yeah. It came, do you know what I mean? Because, yeah, 21 Seconds, all those tunes, they kind of had a Rapper's Delight vibe to it. But then you needed the darker. It's yeah. also yet to respond to the street. Yeah. They, they was on it. They they had the darker shit so solid, and they were mainstream. So it it, it was good to just to hear that it wasn't that garage. It was sort of like the garage format, but they just turned it on their head mm. and made it like an MC team. Yeah, sick. yeah, exactly. They be, they made it okay. They made it achievable as yeah. well. Made you know that six man on a rhythm yeah. could do something. Yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm saying. And how up DJ Luck as well, and. Yeah, man, them man, they're legends again, fathers, bro. Yeah, not oxide nutrient all is that? Like, yeah, man, proper like. shit. That's that that that's where I actually come from and was there. Yeah, best bro, yes. Just bang that in there. That's too. the alcohol cupping. Yeah, that's the, um that's my uncle Rich. You just send that. Hey, hey, Yoshi, let me let me see that box, cuz. Yeah, come. So look, look, see. Come on, let's get the. Let's let me pick it. up my uncle Rich live. Artist go. liaison. Yeah, Should we I mean, do an opening? Let's do an opening. Bust it, innit? Bust, Let's bust it. that thing out now. Bust it. <laughs> I want to see what's going on. I need something sharp. Yeah. Something sharp in here. Sharp. For those of you who are listening and not watching, a box has yeah, arrived inside the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with what can only be described as a gift from your uncle. Yeah, my, it's my, my, my Uncle Rich, man. Uncle Rich has come through <laughs> with a bottle of good good. Is it rum? Bottles. Oh, not, a bo not a bottle. He come through with bottles. Yo. He got the duppy white. Duppy white. white. Come on. Again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Backstage just went mad. Yeah. <laughs> so, duppy white, you get that in all your local... Actually, I'll get it online, Yeah, eh? I'll take the duppy share, gang. I'll take yeah. duppy. That's what we're duppy saying. Duppy, we are met. Wow, that looks good. That looks tough. Duppies, you go. We've got cameras everywhere right now. Oh, yeah. we got no Uncle games. Rich, you legend. Yeah, as many <laughs> bottles as there is cameras, we're in for a night. He, he messaged me and said, are you at the club yet? Yeah? <laughs> I want to send something to the club. <laughs> Be up my Uncle Rich. Come Bad on, man. Uncle Rich. That's it, your, yeah, your secret's safe with us. Come on. Um, so yeah, jump back in. So with regards to that journey, like what you just busting bars, like because your flow is like, to be honest, I feel Do like you know it's what, bro? I was bars, bars and beats. I think I was more into beats first, as well as bars. But I had a thing in me that I just wanted to be. I wanted to be good at building beats, like. Mm. And I think bars sort of got back seat. Look, I was still MCing, but focus was on building. I think. And then, and then over time, they leveled out, and I was happy with my the building. Balance. And then I started focusing back on my MCing again. Because like, I just right feel like now, it's tack, you know, you attack on your bars. Yeah, that, 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 I think that is my thing, attacking it. Like, I'm not, I'm not the yeah. I've got a two foot tackle with the team. Yes, Jay. Come on, come on, bro. That's See, look, gang's doing better than rolling, rolling yeah. in, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're getting the raw and cut. You ain't done backstage before on a ground set. You are, right? <laughs> in the mix now, boy. Come on. Um, how, did you, how did you meet D-Double? How did you meet Kano? Dubs live around the corner. All the usual questions are coming Kano, out now. Yeah. Uh, man, them all local, bro. Local. Oh. East London's got a lot, to, lot of talent Yeah. there. Guys went schools and, and all kinds of stuff. Do you know what I mean? My brother, even the guy filming, he's from the bits as well. It's, 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 it's a proper family affair. Old Tide Hungry. <laughs> it's a proper family affair, right? It's yeah, but, it's, but um, I just, from the bits, that's why I, I know most of like people, just from the area, but Wiley, his dad knows my dad. A um, couple other men's. Dad knows my dad, like an MCRD. Mm. His dad's actually Demon Rocker, who's part of um, the Rabbit Twins. Of course. You see what Ooh, I'm saying? So, um, legendary. Big, big guys, bro. So, I've known a load big of demon. people before, just before, before, you know what I mean? So, then Double lives around the corner from my house. So, I knew Double bef before we'd 
ever said a lyric together. Like, well, just knowing him. Like. It's like unthinkable. Like, right? this is just like, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, this is kind of the yeah, thing. Yeah, but we, we went different schools, but still knew each other. Yeah. So Dubs went to a different school down the road. I, I went to Kate, he went St. Bonds, but we'd still be talking to each other in our uniforms and that. Mm. Then we started doing Jungle together on a, on a, on a station. What station was that? Future 992. Okay. RIP Breaker. He gave he gave me my first set on radio, like wow. ever in life. What a guy. But yeah, um, the first music me and Double done was Jungle, like on a jung on that Jungle station. Just mm -hmm. do a set with my DJ. I was in a crew called Bass and Jet Crew. And um, yeah, Dubs used to come on our set and that like, every now and again. And that's where we just always was linking from in that thing. And then we went to a different pass after the jungle thing and double joined Nasty Crew like first. He's, a, he's an original Nasty Crew original member. Nasty Dubs. Yeah, Crew. and um, my other little brothers, they were like, bro, Double's murking it right now. Like, But I hadn't heard Double any. My, my other brothers always playing his bars and that. Uh -huh. Then we linked back up, Dubs was on his thing. And then, yeah, we, we linked up like early 2000s in the building of Grime again, like, basically. That's when we linked up. It still wasn't quite Grime, it was still Gabby G, there's still Gabby Traditional Gabby-G. kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like, the Norris, the Boss, Mindros, and Kai Chun was still about, Oy. like, that, them times, like. It was a fucking early, That's what I'm though. saying, yeah. yeah, you know, like, proper early, bruv, like. So it wasn't really named, it wasn't really a like, thing. There was, yeah, Grime wasn't named then. At that point, when we was doing, MC and that like, grime wasn't called grime, so that is very that like, that's like 2000 then, like at least. So yeah, I've known Dubs for the longest, man. He's my brother. With this locational, the locational aspect of, of grime, you feel like it was power in numbers. It was like inevitable if you all kind of if if the scene connected together, it would forge a name. It would forge a, a, an uh, energy. It's not even. Do you know what? I don't, I don't think it connected together like that. I think the connection was the youth. It was the choice of the youth. Because mm. it's still very segregated, like in, in my terms, East London, North, well, that was it, South. Yeah. But that's, that was just back in the day. But I think that tension was part of it though. And was part of what made what made it nang, that need to rep for your area, mm. lyrically, and go and, and, and like, yeah, it was sick. It wasn't a violent thing, it was a music, there was violence in the mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. leading it was actually music. And the need to be somewhat like mm. so I've been to some very warm places and MC. You could say the life was on the line, but it was the same for everyone else. Because it was music. music. Yeah, was it, it. music's what's leading it. Because you hear some thing, sendings, yeah. like obviously the ones that are more relevant right now, and people back and forth thing. Anyone that's not into the music will get the wrong idea. Yeah. And that's so, really hard to process yeah, in my you might just hear, you might just hear conflict rather than art. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it's it's like that. And a lot of men, as greasy as they are, they're artists and they're on a journey and want to go somewhere. Yeah, so, and they're just doing their thing. Yeah, so it's, it's like that. That's the way they operate. Yeah, 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 it's, it's that one. So yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, and again, you know, through the lineage, even hip hop used to do it back in the day. They used to battle and say stuff, and they got like WWF wrestlers almost the way they're back and yeah, forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. That it, shit's it fun. It's it fun is. to watch. It took too. me a while to even know that there was a fair aspect, even to clashing, that like some of the things they do at Sun Splash and that in Yard, yeah. it is organised and it is set that this is going to happen. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And um, it's sick still. Like, it's. Because at the end of the day, it's entertainment the world, you know, and, mm. and that's what the people are doing. So it's sick, right? You gotta love it. Some some of it is super real though and the mm. dislikes can be but it's it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, We're yeah, human, yeah. so yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Who who's the who's the I mean you've clashed. Yeah. Biggest clash you've done. Talk to us about a clash that you're like, oh man. Like that was an an, an One of my favourite clash. clashes that I've seen was Dogs and Wiley. <sighs> oh. uh, uh, um, uh, Palace Pavilion. That's bonkers. Yeah, that was mad years ago. Yeah. And while he's a warlord, because I've seen him lose and I've seen him win. He's a guy. But he don't care. He's just... He doesn't care. He will swing. He will get in the ring every time. Uh, and that's the epitome of an MC, mm. I think. Because if your pride gets bruised, how narrow are you after that? Yeah. 
you know what I mean? She kind of, that's body You're armor, nine up it? until someone punched you in your face. Yeah. And then you weren't good. That means you was never good, bro. <laughs> you were just yeah. dodging a punch in the face, but how good are you after that? Yeah, and that's right. And he's nine after a punch in the face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, you still do. Yeah, so, and I think as an MC, you've got to have that ability. You take a shot, mm. come back. If you can't, then it's not for you. And that's mm. that's this thing. Talk to me about the beats. Talk to me about the beats. Yeah, but beats, uh, like I said, I've been building for a minute. And I think I was building first more than MC. Well, mm. in, in my heart. So, yeah, I've just, I just love building, man. Far cry from your dad's, you know, two, two weeks to do a snare kind of yeah, scenario. I I, I'm on that same buzz now. Yeah. So yeah, I, I understand it fully what my dad was doing. And my yeah. dad's a drummer as well. So um, I stood at the side of the stage and watched him playing a band on a, like a world tour and shit. So Mad. I'd seen stuff, yeah, he drums for an artist called Eka Mouse. Eka Mouse on the hard, woo! Yeah, my, dad, my dad's a big drummer. Wow. Still, so. Eka Mouse. I, <gasps> to see my dad holding, like thinking, bro, oh, he's like, the metronome to this whole thing. Yeah. Was was quite a deep Everything thing to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite a deep thing. And him holding it. Like waiting for him to lose it and he just just didn't. Mm. Like, it's a mad thing to see still. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. With the uh with the album. Hey, well this is a celebratory show, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, but really? it's a celebratory because the album was um last year that like, so this show is a is a year in the making basically. It would have happened a whole year ago. So mm. it's I think there should be a nice general warmth mm. towards the Everyone's album vibing. out there. Like, you know, <laughs> it should be good. Yeah. It should be good. Everyone's vibing and like you say, it's had two years to, to incubate in people's yeah. minds. Yeah, man. Proper. At, and you feel like that, you know, as a process, you wouldn't have changed a single thing up. Obviously, no. you wouldn't want COVID, but you know what I mean? Other than that. And then I think if I change that, my album is not out yet. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a tough one, that. She gets dated in your head pretty quickly, do not it? Yeah, bruv, definitely does, definitely does. Yeah. So, and it took two years to make. Yeah. So, to wait another two years to drop it, it would have been insane, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. so, the audience have been waiting. Actually, talking of audience, because I found this really interesting about you, as a personality, you know, like, and I think it might be because you flit on the genres of beats and stuff so differently than everybody else, but you're... You're quite respected in outside of just grime. Like people vibe on you if they're skaters, if yeah, they're because we've done, beatboxers, or we've whatever. We've done a few bits. I think as gens, we did some different stuff always. Yeah. We, was, we, was, we was doing dubstep tunes. We was in other raves. Yeah. And they just loved us for being gens rather than not like they they didn't look at us as dubstep MCs yeah. or whatever. They knew what we were were and are. But we're here right now, busting down the rave, mm. love it. And they just did. So I think that's where my respect come from. Mm. And I think many a people have had a good night to us mashing it down. That's right. Just as a facilitator of entertainment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can respect it. So I think that's where we, we've won a lot of hearts. Yeah. Like when Manga, did the, when Manga did the Asteroid Boys thing. That yeah. was cold. Like, you see, it, it was yeah. diff different, but fitted. Yeah. You see, so yeah, there's been, there's been branches out. We've been, grime is an accessible genre, but we're, we're as usable as any other, yeah. I think. Like a drum and bass. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, it's just, if whatever your spec is at the time, mm. depending, you know what I mean? You might need a grime MC on your track, boom. Mm. Grab one, there's bears. Yeah. <laughs> Happiest moment, proudest moment in music at the moment? At the moment, I'm saying. At the moment, well, I think today, after today, it has to be up there because I've been doing music for years, bro, and then I'm just having a headline show today, so that's nuts. Come on. So you can't... <laughs> you can't get much better than that. I don't sure. think you can beat that. That's like the level up, isn't it? Yeah, so... And I think it's also a sign of you've done something mm -hmm. in your sort of music career enough to get a, a show mm -hmm. centred around you, which is nice. So. Yeah. And it's something I never, ever thought about or wanted. It's not, I want a headline show. It wasn't a thing. Even when I dropped my album, it still wasn't a thing. So to be here today is sick. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's on. a pleasure having on, having please. the opportunity to chat you yeah, in, man, in, I'm, in I'm the eye of the storm. I'm glad you got to do it, bro. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. <laughs> You know when you feel like you feel like you're longing someone and you're not, it's just like yeah, it's just one of them. Family, come on. Come on, but we're there, we're there. Family. 
Okay, look, we're gonna we're gonna cut cut loose, right? You're gonna see all this stuff on on the line without question. We're gonna get this out as soon as possible. Killer Caller podcast, the mighty footsie inside the place. That's that kills <laughs> oh, oh my god! Come on, man. Look. All right, Sharon is caring. I ain't doing this for my health. All right, share away. <laughs> tell a friend. That. Tell yeah. a friend. All right. Easy. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. <laughs> Kells is out. Killer Vision. Peace.